there is a new update available today for Proto V3. Let's talk about it. To get this out of the way going forward in Proto on the settings tab, under comments will list the version of Proto that you have uh, currently installed. And in the download, I will have this change log um, listing out these changes with links to uh, appropriate videos for, for each of these specific new features. Now, there are three things that are changing in this update. First is the system for sort of auto scaling graphics on external sources. On Proto in source controls, uh, you can of course change it to a line or text or uh, other shapes, but then you also have loader, media pool, and background. Especially for loader and media pool, on the previous or launch version of Proto V3, if you connected this to media uh, that was like really stretched horizontal or like a funky aspect ratio, um, it wouldn't always scale correctly. Now that's fixed. Big thanks to Matt McCool, um, who helped me out with some of the math and nodes and stuff for this. Link to his channel will be in the description. Kind of behind the scenes change, but very important if you need it. The other changes are also about these external tools. So if I come to this loader and open up this source transform controls, you will see this new button for sync external source. This is especially useful with, with the next big feature, but I want to show this off first. If I open up this external source effects and toggle on source underlay, you will see this arrow. And if this sync external source is unchecked and I pull down source scale, it will just pull down like the glowy area that is being affected by Proto. We do have this option at the end for post effect transform, but that sort of scales them together. So, so they don't quite sync up unless you keep this source scale at exactly one. But what if you want these smaller and sync together? But now we have this sync external source option. If I click that, these will stay uh, scaled together. And that is before all these uh, blur and distortion effects are applied. And this is especially useful, if I undo this and go back, this is especially useful because of these new controls in these external source effects drop down. By default, it has this edge detect um, showing off here uh, previously, but I will also change this to media pool and just bring in this resolve logo. Okay, so the previous default behavior was just this edge detect option. It looks for every line, it applies Proto to it. Now we have this outline control where it just looks at the very alpha outline and only applies Proto there. I had some people specifically request this. It's a great idea, I threw it together. But you can see with how this sort of auto scaling works, uh, this image is almost right to the edge. So if I come to this post effect transform and scale down, you'll see that this is the blur is being cut off by this transform. So that's why I added this new sync external source so that now if I click this and then scale it down, the entire image is scaled down and you get that perfect outline. Even if you change this to some of these uh, other settings, they should all come through correctly, specifically only on the outline. And where this gets really powerful, I'm going to show this off more later, but if I, oh, let me connect this to something else. If I change this over to background and drag it over this video clip that I've used a few times, this dancing guy, if this is on outline, nothing happens because of course this image is full screen. If I change this to edge detect, we get all these edges. But what happens if I come back to outline and then open up the fusion page, open up Proto, and I can come right to these series of media in nodes. And this one down here is the background. Uh, I'm gonna do a full video on this later, but really quickly, if I toss in the magic mask, again, this is exclusive to the uh, studio version of Resolve, but let it think for a bit. Um, I will probably have to add several points after this is done processing. Yeah, we got that pant leg. I'm gonna do more pant leg and then probably uh, the guy coming in, the guy coming in. So now we have that outline of the guy. I'm even gonna preview just this magic mask. Um, let that process cruise through. This is just on a 1080 timeline, so this should go pretty smooth. No, no, there we go. So we are magic masking out just the guy and this will track backwards as well. And so both of these options, these edge detect and outline controls will be available to us now just based on this image. So let's go back to the edit page. We still see that full outline or that full background because the image is still there, but now Proto is only working on that area that's been magic masked. This was an outline, it's the perfect outline of that person. If I change it to edge detect, it will look at uh, every line inside of that space. So if I change this over to still, you you know you get a lot finer those details. That is cool. Um, you can customize this with these edge detecting controls, or just change it to outline and get uh, get an outline. Of course, uh, slide between all of these presets if you would still like to. 
And uh, you, whatever still, whatever image, whatever video, especially if you team up with Magic Mask, you can do some really cool stuff with Proto V3. Um, this is a great, cool update right out the gate. Link in the description if you want to purchase Proto V3 to get these new cool features. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.